marching bands, an 82-gun salute, to a lavish banquet. White, the colour of choice for the night, with the Queen, Camilla and Kate adding some glitz, as only royals can do. A state visit focused on ceremony, with plenty of pomp and pageantry. The President's first day ending in grand fashion with a dinner at Buckingham Palace, surrounded by royalty. The very best china, crystal and gilded silver on display for the President and 170 other guests. The staff actually measuring out the 18-inch place settings, taking four days just to set the table. A toast to President and Mrs Trump. Both leaders raising a glass to an important alliance. I'm confident that our common values and shared interests will continue to unite us. The president praising the queen. A great, great woman. But possibly breaking royal protocol when appearing to touch her back as she stood up. A photo of their initial meeting had many mistakenly believing this handshake was a fist bump. The president began his day inspecting the guard of honor with Prince Charles. The First Lady standing with the Queen, decked out in Dolce & Gabbana, drawing comparisons to the late Princess Diana. The Duchess of Cornwall getting some attention of her own for a quick wink before having tea with the Trumps. One royal choosing to lay low, Prince Harry, who joined for a private lunch away from the cameras, later apparently keeping his distance from the President at another event. His wife, Meghan, who the president called nasty, was not in attendance. Queen Elizabeth has met with 12 US presidents over the years. She, more than anybody, understands the great significance, the, sim the symbolic importance of the, uh, the state visit. But President Trump is only the third to be honored with a state visit. 